Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Orogiri. So today's episode is more of an informative video. That's weird. Why is that like that? Hmm. Shit. I might have some technical difficulties. Hmm. But um, today's video is about how to fix the unblacklisting problem that's going on in Onigiri. Um, and that problem is that when you blacklist someone, either intentionally or unintentionally, which it usually is, because a lot of times we go to whisper someone or look at their profile and someone jumps and it moves where the icon is, and we click blacklist, it's like, oh shit, they're blacklisted. You know, and that's been happening. And it is a bit of a problem when it's like, oh crap, I just I blacklisted my best friend and I can't join his party and he can't see anything I say or vice versa. Or I guess it's whoever you blacklist, you can't see what they say. But basically when that happens, you can't join their parties, you can't do nothing, you can't join them. So, yes, I am on login, but that's not a big problem for me right now. Um, so what I'm talking about is in the blacklist here. So unless it just magically got fixed on a maintenance that I'm currently unaware of, like let's say I wanted to unblacklist um, Emilia or God Death. I mean, I wouldn't want to unblacklist these guys. This is my blacklist here. Um, you know, there's some people on it. I really don't know who all these people are. I know some of them, really, I do. Actually, I should know a lot of them. Yeah, I do know a lot of them. Um, but let's say I wanted to unblacklist Emilia. Because I had him... Temporarily blacklisted because I was running a dungeon and I wanted to, um, you know, I don't want to DC. I don't want whispers coming in 24-7 and he was doing that. And I'm like, I don't have time to do this. I want a boost. I'm running an energy thing. I don't want to DC right now. So I just, I, I do that. If something's really bugging me and I'm doing something, like instead of taking the time to explain it because they might DC me at a portal because it whispers going all that stuff, I'll just temporarily blacklist them for a little bit and then come back and, you know, remove them later. You know, that's, that's, that's how I roll if just... People are just talking, talking, talking. I don't got time to explain it. I'll do that. I'll definitely do a temporary blacklist just because right now I don't need that. But with this current update, like I can click on his name as many times as I want. doesn't matter where I click. It doesn't appear. Like the remove from blacklist, like it's a common thing. It's just not happening. And there's also, um, hey, there's Morelia over there. But um, it's not just the blacklisting that's affecting it. Um, one thing I can't demonstrate right now, because I'm not in a party, but if I formed a party, um, a body party, let's say, and I just say bodies, um, one thing that you cannot do right now, which is actually a really important part of the game, is you can't kick someone from your party. So, like, if someone joined, normally I could go in and click on their name, and unless they're the fifth person in the slot, because we know that's always been broken, you can't kick the fifth person in a body party. Um, I've tried this the other day. Like I wanted to kick someone from my party, and I couldn't do it. Um, so like if someone joined like second, third, fourth slot, um, you just can't kick them. So Eva joined. So let's um, open this back up, party recruit. Um, edit party, I should say. So I want to click on her name. Nothing happens. I cannot forcibly remove Morelia from my party. It just cannot be done. And that's me mashing X. So if I took my mouse and I wanted to click on it with the mouse, it doesn't change it. Normally the mouse solves every problem, but it does not it does not do anything. Like I can't click on her. I can't click on her to whisper. Like sometimes I'll do that. It just nothing pops up. Nothing works. So what is the fix of this? So we've seen the blacklist, we've seen that. That's all the known things I've seen. Can't whisper unless I type their name out. You can't whisper? Really? So you're telling me I can't click on Eva and go whisper? Yeah, you can. Hi. So there it is. So you can cl click on someone to do stuff like that. Like you can click on a person and this list pops up. Like that's how you blacklist people anyway. Or you type in manually add to blacklist. But aside from that, like, everything else works. Like, profile, you know, anything like that. Now, if you're in your friends list, then do it. Nothing pops up. So, it's the same as a friend list. I can't open my friends list because it's so full of people. So, I wouldn't know about that. But thank you, Zia. This, 
So that's another area. So it doesn't work in the friends list, the blacklist, uh, party list. All the lists are bugged. That's the basis of this glitch. We've known about this. I've known about it, but because I've mentioned it a little bit in some streams, but since I don't know, I didn't know a. I know my parents are loud, but since I didn't know um, a solution to it, I didn't really focus too much on it. I thought, well, you know, Cyberstep will eventually learn of this and they'll fix it in the next update. It was one of those things. It was like, well, it's a part of life. It'll happen. You know, things should be resolved. Um, one thing I did do is, um, my in-game audio is off right now because I was listening to some music earlier, so I had it off, but I guess I can turn it back on. Yeah, so yes to friends. Yeah, thank you. So, there I got some party or background music again. So in case anyone thought, like, what's wrong with Oreo's game? <laughs> All these things are messages. Yeah, like Eva's messaging me stuff and I can see it on my phone. I didn't even look at the screen. But, um... The solution to our problems here is, I'm going to show it to you guys. So to do that, I need to go to character select. And I don't see it. Why don't I see it? I'm supposed to be able to see... Um, keyboard and mouse because keyboard and mouse is apparently this is what's been told to me is you can use keyboard and mouse to um oh i know why it's not showing up apparently you can use keyboard and mouse to um get this to work like if you go in the game you load in keyboard and mouse like no controller this is a solution um, uh, log out? Uh, maybe logging out might work. You're you're probably right. It's just what I did is this is a pro tip for keyboards on PS4 is um, sometimes you have to hit the keyboard won't work until you hit guide guide like you have to hit the PlayStation button to go out and then PlayStation button to come in and then it registers the keyboard. That's what I didn't do. So now I think if I go to just um, character select it should be there because my keyboard is on. Yeah, there it is. So, if we go to keyboard and mouse mode, I start the game. Which is really weird, because you can like use the controller to hit start game, but then you're in keyboard and mouse mode. So, this method to me, or this method of using keyboard and mouse to fix... Now, obviously, it won't be able to fix like kicking someone from a party, because you're not going to be able to switch between. But this is mostly for the blacklist. And you could do it for your friends list as well, if you want to remove someone from friends list. Or whisper someone on a friends list, like if that's really up to you. But if you play in keyboard and mouse, you can see how rapid my my mouse is going. Like I'm I'm in keyboard mode because what is sensitivity, right? Because the only green is sense add sensitivity. So I th should be able to then go to community, go to blacklist, and I should be able to click on. Hmm. Maybe they're wrong. I thought they said this could work. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, there it is. There it is. I see it. So, this method, like I said, was taught to me by um, Witch of the Void. She's a new up-and-coming wand user, 116, 117, around that range, you know, gargs and stuff. They're, just get, they're getting pretty good at the game, and they said, you know, you know, let them know that I didn't come up with this method, but I'm the one who told you. They said, you know, let, let people know that this is where that info came from. So Witch of the Void, if you see around, you know, thank her. If you, if you have a problem with your blacklist, something's been bugging you, you couldn't unblacklist someone, whatever it may be. Um, she's the one that came up with the solution. She gave it to me so I could give it to you guys. So what you do is you have to take your mouse and let right click on their name, go down and click remove from blacklist. We'll be removed from blacklist. Proceed, okay. And as simple as that. So I click on like anyone, I mean, I don't recommend removing everyone from your, from your blacklist. There's some people you just blacklist for for reasons. Now, I'm not going to go on here and like just say like, oh, this is all the people I blacklisted, and let me tell you why they're all blacklisted. But it's your friend, yeah. They're, they're my friend too. I've been talking to them lately. This person got blacklisted because they just stand in town and they just they just type cry, 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 like all day in Onigashima. I'm like, you are contributing to so many black, like so many blue screens and crashes. They have no idea. So I just like, I'm not putting up with that. So bam. But that's not the point of the video. So the point of the video is, 
Um, if you have someone accidentally on your blacklist or someone you want to remove from your blacklist, um, you just got to get mouse and keyboard. Now, I know not everyone has a mouse and keyboard, but, you know, um, those of us that have it, we have to make do. Uh, mouse, uh, like a, you can use a cordless mouse, a corded mouse, doesn't really matter. You know, go to Walmart, pick up something cheap and plug that in. I always use a mouse, by the way. Like, I always have a mouse nearby. Like, that's why I Vanguard swap with um, R3. And some people have been asking this question, so I'm going to um, pull this up real quick. Cry. <laughs> Cry. This is how to get blacklisted. But, stop. She's mixing it up. Cry. But some people have been asking, what's my control set in Onigiri? So, type B. Um... Because I'm in my settings, so I might as well show it. So, skill effects and effects are on. Accessory effects are off and shadows are off. That helps still loading and stuff. I always have it at 21, 69 render distance because 69 is the most powerful number. None of this stuff is touched. And my controls, I cannot even show you this while I'm using a keyboard. So, that is very unfortunate that I can't show controller setups. That's really weird. So, once again, I will go to character select and turn off this keyboard and mouse mode so I can show that. But, you know, it's already default off. I love this game. I love this game. And you always keep, you always want to keep a keyboard nearby if you're going to get invested in this game. We're going to roll in the Nian. And the purpose of having a keyboard is like, if you die while your Vanguard ring is up, I really don't know if that's still a problem. I think they might have fixed that. I haven't been dying with rings up very recently. Because um, now I know that when you're in Vanguard and you use like a move, that's like a projectile like Miyamoto's Flash or Kenshin's Flash or Azura's Blades or anything. When the Vanguard meter runs out and you transform back, that move is now null and void and it is just erased. Before, like when Miyamoto was about to like um, end, like when I did new and stuff, you could watch the videos. I would, collect, I would just get near a bunch of enemies. I would shoot a Flash of Retribution and then I'd swap out and the Flash would keep going and it would fill up my bar. And that was how it would go. But now you can't do that. So I don't know if that's still the same with um, the Vanguard ring. Because it seems they paid more attention to it. That when you die. Now someone else could have to confirm if you die with the Vanguard ring up. If it fucks you or not. Because usually what happens. You die with the ring up. Like so you have your Vanguard ring up. And then you die. The Vanguard walks into it. Nothing happens. Um, generally what happened in that case is that... Um, you can't push the button again on your controller. Whatever you had set for it, be it R3, triangle, whatever, you can't do it again until you load to another room and it can really, really mess people up. Um, but um, with a keyboard around, if you have a keyboard around and you hit either T or Y, T for Vanguard and Y for... Um, mounts like if ever that happened to you you can push those buttons it will turn the ring off and you can do it again and get back on your vanguard or on your mount whatever it may be so you know that's always good to have a keyboard around and it and a keyboard lets you hold down e so you can pick up things instantly like keyboard has many many advantages you can type enter in and it just does things for you my keyboard is not even on like i'm so cool but it does so much stuff for you and you can clap and stuff in keyboard mode. And I, I should have showed that, but I'm not in it. Um, but I did want to show you my control settings. So, like I said, render distance 69, uh, players 21, effects on, skill effects on, type B. My sound is 8, 12, 36. It changes periodically. Um, and then budding config. So I have everything pretty much the same. So R1 is the same, skill is L1, jump. Jump, circle, square, triangle, all that stuff's the same. Guard is L3. Now, the only thing that's really different on my controls is camera zoom. So camera zoom is normally R3. And um, if you have a mouse, um, I, you can actually scroll through this wheel, which is really fun. But if you have a mouse, what it lets you do is it lets you control the zoom of the camera automatically. So you don't need to use R3 to go to one of the three presets of zooming. So if you have a mouse with a scroll wheel, like I just have the mouse off to the side when I need to it, use it. And it's very, very easy. I always sit in the same spot when I play. So what I do is I make my Vanguard button R3. So when I need to Vanguard, I hit R3. And my camera gets messed up, I reach my hand over. And I just scroll up or down, depending to fix my camera. Um, other than that, um, 
I got rid of my change. Uh, my change weapon plus. That's weird. Up. Why does that say up? Is it really? I thought my battle mount was up on the d-pad, not down. Why is it saying down? I'm really confused, because normally my mount button is up. And I hit down to get on my mount. Why does it say up? That's weird. Did they mess up my controls and I just haven't rid it for it in a long time? No, it's up. That's really weird. That is really weird. Cause I hit up to get on van to get on Ifrit. And I hit down to change weapons. That's what I've done. So That's really weird. So this thing doesn't even know what you're doing. So battle mount should be up and weapons should be down, but that's really weird. And then items are all the same, and Vanguard switches R3. So that's my control scheme right there for those that are wondering about it. Just because we're on the topic. But So basically, Vanguard is R3, mount is up on the D-pad, camera zoom is just default on the mouse. You just hit um, the scroll wheel. So obviously I have no mouse button, and I can just scroll in and out. 1700? We hit 1700? Wow! I actually seen the number dropping the last time I looked at 17. Hundred. You want an AMA, so we'll work that in there. So what is uh? Because I'm gonna have supper today. I mean, I should hope so. Pretty soon I'll be eating in about half an hour. So do you guys want an AMA tonight, or do you want like an AMA next week, or you know we can have another discuss discussion about that? Because AMAs be fun. You know, it's almost the end of the year too, so people probably have a lot of questions. When would you guys like to see an AMA? I can ask me anything for those unfamiliar. Because we used to do them on channel pretty frequently. Every milestone. But now milestones gotten taken longer and longer. I don't think they pay that much attention with it. Um, but 1700. That is awesome. Almost 2000 subs. You know what? I, I would love 2000 Subway sandwiches. So what day would you like to see Eva? For, for AMA. Would you like it to be tonight? Tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, like when would be comfortable for you guys? I love when I ask people like in the chat, like three people leave. Like it says like 12 and then everyone just leaves. I love it. I love it. It's like, what do you guys think? Oh no, he can see me. Run away. What's up? No video for you. You want it next week? That's fine. Because I know you got projects and stuff. I'm sure you've got lots of things you want to ask. Do you guys know where Bankay is? Bankay. Oh shit. Let's talk to the hoppers. Oh, there's Ciaran. Alright, so we can do that. Probably, holy fuck, what do you want? Oh, and people just yell at me. <laughs> I get so triggered easily. I'm just like, I get so irritated so fast. But, um, so yeah, it's about 20 minutes into this video. It doesn't really need to be that long, but that's how you fix the blacklist, friend list, um, glitch so you have to have a keyboard and mouse in keyboard and mouse mode you just right click on the name and you can unblacklist the person so you know tell your friends you know hey you got that buddy on that guy unblacklisted whatever blacklisted so you can fix them you know that's some good known to pass around another thing just a small little tidbit that's not that important but they've also changed it so that healing moves and invigorate moves support moves no longer trigger block stun So, like, if Eva were to block and I were to hit her with an invig, she does no longer get blown back. Oh, 
Like you can see it here, like there's no guards done. How does the AMA work? Okay, so basically, um, I make a video like the day or two days before the AMA and I say, hey guys, we're going to do an AMA on whenever the date's decided and anyone can tune into the live stream and I'll say like, okay, I'm going to stream around this time that day and you guys can come up with questions or things that you want to ask me and you guys can ask me any questions you want and I'll answer them as, you know, best I can. Now, obviously you can't ask me, what's your social security number? Because I won't know what it is. It's like, what's your, what's your address? You can't ask personal information like that, but you guys could be like, you could ask me anything like what's your favorite color what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done in your life yeah there's no blocks done yeah it's kind of sad but that's what AMA is, is ask me anything so um, so yeah you could be like what's your favorite anime who's your favorite character have you ever pretended to do the Kamehameha in real life and obviously the answer that's yes you could ask me like anything like that you could ask me like on any topic anything at all and I'd give you my honest opinion for it or answer or whatever it may be so some people like to know in advance so they can come up with questions that they like to ask or rehearse some things um, some of my some questions have been asked on my discord and I said I'll answer them the next AMA and it's been literally months so a lot of questions are on my discord in a channel that just says AMA questions like if I want to pull that up I can give you guys a tidbit of some questions that would be asked and I could um, you know maybe give a little not hype but a little um, foresight towards what kind of questions some people are asking but my discord is like crashed it's like slow there we go there we go there we go there we go no there we go so some questions that people have asked and these questions were asked like in September so many questions in here so one question was like toaster strudels or pop tarts like we've had videos on the channel where i'm like soft shell taco or hard shell taco or like you know pizza or you know you could ask any sort of question like that like tits or ass things like that people always ask those questions um like someone asked if i secretly have four arms someone asked heroin or meth and like so many questions in here like what was my freshman year at high school like what was where did the name Rondon Destroyer come from? There's so many questions on here. It's like, how do you think people get noticed on Onigiri or Well Known? So many, so many questions and lots of, lots of fun stuff. What's on the PS4 JP lineup? Uh, that's a good question. I personally don't know at the moment what's on PS4 JP right now. Um... They have no platinum lineup. Oh, that's gross. They should have Tristan and uh, Sanzo. But apart from that, I don't know. Just Tristan? Uh... Yeah, Xbox's update's really weird, and I gotta talk about that. That is, like, the weirdest update. Because, like, they got... Like, Xbox got, uh... Lucifer... And apparently the portal is broken to get into the Terminus. And the Nian doesn't have Tritail. The Nian has Miyamoto again. And it has no Fox outfits. And it's really different. Because I think it was... It's either... I don't think it was Elohim. It was um, Rhyme. Was looking at my video that I did when we got the Lucifer update. And he was comparing stuff. And he said it was so different. So that's a topic to look at ourselves. Like it's something to look at. Um... So yeah, like AMA next week, um, probably, okay, like probably midweek, I want to say, like Wednesday or probably Wednesday. So if you guys have any questions or things you want to ask, you can prepare that or come and wing it or just come and watch. It's really fun. Um, where did the name around us come from? I guess that's a pretty common question, so I can answer that. Um, I'll give you that real quick because I always answer that. Uh, Rondo and Destroyers comes from the days where I used to play Naruto, typically Naruto Clash and Ninja, or Gekito Ninja Tyson in Japanese. And those are like all my original videos. And um, back when I played, um, I used to like, on Clash Ninja 2, I like made Naruto. It was like my best character. 
And um, his ultimate attack or his special was the Uzumaki Barrage. But in Japanese, it was the Uzumaki Randan, which means combo. And Sasuke had the Shishi Randan, which was Lion's Barrage. So it was combo barrage. And I made combo videos. That's what I did. So I'm like, I like combos. I like barrage. I like the word Randan. So I said, I use combos to destroy people. So I am the Randan Destroyer. And it sounds really cool. So that's that's the that's the origin of Rondon Destroyer. And why there is an S is because I made two accounts. One of them was just Rondon Destroyer with my own, which was my basic account, which I made when I was, I was probably 14, 16 when I started making these videos, but I wasn't 18. So Rondon Destroyers, I'm actually like two years older on it, I think. Like my age is wrong. And that was so that I could like watch like etchy things. That were normally like age restricted. I could watch them. That's why I made two accounts. That's why there's on YouTube there's a Rondon Destroyer and then there's a Rondon Destroyers account. That's why I'm Rondon Destroyers. It's out of the S. That's a little tidbit. Um, but yeah. So that's where that name came from. But it is my supper time. So you got Ifrit and Sansa. That's nice. Ifrit's good. My name comes from watching Oro. See a Randan destroyer. See a Randan and be a Randan. Remember when I said that? I said see ya, Ran? That was so funny. But, um, alright guys, so I gotta go eat my supper. We're having pork chops, beets, peas, carrots, and potatoes, I think. So, it's gonna be a pretty good supper, I think. So, I'm gonna enjoy that. Mocha said hi. See ya, Ran. Yeah, 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 that's what I said. That's right. That's right. So I'll see you guys later. So hopefully, you know, keyboard and mouse, you got someone on the blacklist, you can get them off. Um, you know, so that's a good solution. Hopefully it gets fixed naturally next update, which is coming up quick, guys. Like three, five days. Five, six days it'll happen. So you want me to be quick? All right. So I'll be quick. I like that song. Be quick or be dead, Iron Maiden. But, uh, all right, so I got to go. I'll see you guys later and, uh, you know, see you on that AMA. More details on that coming spoon. Bye. Where's the button to turn off being so sexy? Bye, Eva.